Today we are going to learn about breadboard. But do you know initially breadboard was literally the wooden breadboard over which connections were made using nails and wire pieces. Thanks to the technology which has brought down this big breadboard into small, compact and easy to use design. A breadboard is used to connect and test the circuit before building the actual design. The components or the wires can be connected on the breadboard by simply pushing the terminals into the holes on the breadboard. These points on the breadboard are connected internally as shown in this diagram here. These connections are made at the back of the breadboard but you cannot see it as it is covered. I have removed the back cover for one of my breadboards. As you can see, certain set of pins are connected using metal plates. I have picturized the same connections on this diagram using red lines. There are four main lines, two on the top and two on the bottom. These are known as power lines where we give VCC and ground. One of the important things to note down is each half of this top and bottom lines is shorted separately such that first five blocks are shorted and the next five blocks are shorted separately. This is shown in diagram here where one half of each line is shorted separately while the other half is shorted separately. To join both the halves of each line, we can connect a small piece of wire between them. Here in this breadboard shows where one half of each line is shorted with a break and then the next half is shorted. As already mentioned, these lines are called as power rails as we connect the VCC and ground to these lines. VCC means the positive voltage but ground means the negative voltage from the power supply. Now talking about the points between these power rails. For all the good quality breadboards, there is always marking horizontally and vertically starting from A to J vertically and horizontally starting from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 so on goes till 65. So all these 65 lines are connected vertically and these are divided into top and bottom halves by this center line. In each half, vertically 5 5 points are joined forming 65 contacts in the top half and 65 contacts in the bottom half. If you consider the first column, A, B, C, D, E rows are connected and F, G, H, I, J rows are connected. Similarly, it repeats for every other column. Next is this divider line. What is its importance? So if you want to connect an IC like this 18 pin IC, you cannot connect it like this. Because here one side of 9 pins are shorted with the other end of the 9 pins, which is not a very ideal connection. You cannot even connect like this as this will short multiple pins on each side of the IC. So the correct way to connect the IC on a breadboard is like this. Here each pin will have a separate rail running for it and whatever connections have to be made to that pin can be connected to that rail. Breadboards also come with these extra pieces on one side and notches on the other side which help to cascade multiple breadboards to get a bigger work area. After prolonged use of breadboard, sometimes the terminals won't be able to fit in these holes normally. This is because the metal contacts on the back of the breadboard might have come out like this. To make it work again normally, push these contacts back into their position using a screwdriver or a pen like this. Now the breadboard will be able to work normally again. One important thing while working with devices like LEDs, transistors, diodes or resistors is that make sure you don't connect the two terminals or three terminals of a transistor to the same contact. If you do so, you, there's a chance that you might damage the device or even worse you can damage your power supply or battery whatever you are using. Before giving the power supply to the device or the circuit, Make sure there are no shorts and test multiple times before giving the power supply. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy Khadar. 
Till then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.